In the last century, my grandfather was in the printing business. His uh, hobby was to play the clarinet. He used to make his own reeds. All his friends were crazy about, uh, you know, his reeds. And my grandmother told him, uh, Eugène, stop your printing. You know, it would be better if you begin to, to make reeds. So the Van Rijn Company was founded in 1905 by musicians from the Paris Opera called uh, Eugène Van Rijn. He was also a passionate man and probably a genius because he had the first thoughts of how to make reeds with machines. Then he passed on this company to his uh, son, Robert, and Robert passed the company to his son, Bernard, the current president of the company. My grandfather was a tough man, you know. He said to his son, we are going to create a company together. It's like that the 56 uh, Rillepic uh, started. Mr. Robert Van Rijn, he was a clarinetist. What he did at this period, take the boat and go to New York and spend months in New York with this clarinet to see the musician, to play with the musician. I would say that was probably the beginning of our, our international reputation. My grandfather was a genius. My father gave the image because he was a very good musician and me, I was an engineer, bring new technology to have better reads. The Van Rijn family has been working for making reeds, mouthpieces and now ligatures and accessories for three generations without any compromise on quality. Me, I'm proud to try to make the best reeds in the world. And all the people they are working with me, they have the same spirit. We want to be the best. The cane we use, it only comes from the Mediterranean basin and that gives it some properties that are very unique. Ah, the south of France is uh, very beautiful, you know. We have the sun, we have all different winds. You have the Mistral, you have the Tramontane, you have the Hest wind, you know. And it's good because the canes can bends, you know, in all the directions. You know, it's for the flexibility of the material. It's wonderful. It's uh, something magic. One of the first steps we take after cutting cane is actually to dry cane naturally. For that, we've always used the same system. It's an open building where the famous wind we have in the south of France called Le Mistral, a very dry wind, blows in the building and dry naturally cane for more than two years. I think at Van Rijn we are lucky because we have lots of cane available, lots of cane resources, and that's allow us to use only the best parts of the poles to make all our products. We need also the parts that are not perfect, you know, to to heat the factory and to, to re-give. You don't need to add any pesticides or any chemicals to grow cane. The only fertilizer we use in our plantation is actually cane itself. That's what I want in a reed. Body, hold, warmth, uh, vibration, everything. I actually remember the day that I first tried a Van Doren Reed. I was playing the Mahler Second Symphony in college, and my response was, I didn't realize that I could make a sound like that. I play traditional reeds. I play the V12-4s and the standard 4s. I, I use, as you can see, this is a Van Doren. This is a three green box. The new Java Red reeds. It's uh, the best reed I've ever played. I don't change between reeds. I find what works for me, in my case, it's a really peak four and a half, and that's my reed. This one allows me to play warm, you know, with ease, and then brilliant without losing quality of sound. If I need to play something loud, like Capricho Espanol, to me, it's a world of possibilities. A reed is is the universe when it's right. 
Bandarin reeds are superior and the best in the world because we use superior material, we have the best technology, we make our own machines. Nobody has the same machine as we have, you know. The technology that we use at Vanderen is unique to Vanderen. It was developed by the Vanderen uh, company for making the Vanderen products. And it's not accessible to any other company today. When you try to tool a piece of wood with an accuracy of uh, one millimeter divided by 100, uh, you need to have the material uh, completely stabilized. I know, if you want to have something very constant, it's necessary to have a, a control of the humidity. And we are proud to have this kind of humidity control in all the factory and all the, the warehouses. It's the only way to be sure that every, everywhere in the world, uh, one Vandoren customer will have his flopac, open the flopac, and the air inside the flopac is the same, exactly the same as it was in the factory. It's sort of like Christmas, opening each of the wraps and hearing the Christmas. We rely so much on this little sliver of cane to make all these important sounds that we have. And so uh, people get superstitious about what to do with their reed. They might cure them, they shave them, they get reed rushed, they're clipping them. I've heard uh, some of the myths about uh, aging the, the, the reed by like putting a little bit of dirt on it. Just leaving them in, in the attic or a basement somewhere called curing. We're not drying meat. I don't know how you can get too superstitious about it. It's like a natural. It's like superstition about mowing your lawn or something. I guess you could have strange practices. A lot of it is perception. You start with a high quality thing like a Van Doren reed, and then you have to imbue that setup with your own comfort level. I don't have that much time to uh, hope that the reeds will be good at some point. So I need, uh, I need reeds that work now. And that is something that I actually feel confident in getting from Van Doren. My feeling is if it doesn't play out of the box immediately um, and I have to work with it, I, I'd rather find another reed. Well, the thing I like about um, the Van Doren reeds is the consistency. Uh, for me, I don't like to mess with them. I don't like to put knives to them. I like them to come out of the box and I like them to play. When I open a new bag of Van Doren reeds, I can play it right out of the box. Usually I have no problem with my reeds. I, I take uh, packs and uh, I can play every reed. I have to say the consistency of Vendoran reeds is one of the, the things that I really appreciate about them and really enjoy. Every one of them sounds good, every one of them is, is responsive. I have changed, you know, I have tried other things, and, but I always end up coming back to Vendoran. piece is to me the extension of the horn the extension of the voice you know without a good mouthpiece you could have the greatest horn in the world if your setup isn't right if your mouthpiece isn't right you're gonna be in trouble I'm playing uh, an M15 uh, profile 88 13 series tuning V5 uh, mouthpiece number eight this is a t75 jumbo Java uh, tenor mouthpiece I play um, the V5 a55. The ligatures are, or the Van Doren ligatures, they're incredible. I'm playing the new Masters ligature, which I think is the best thing since my husband's peach cobbler. Very new uh, ligature, it's um, called MO. Having the whole system designed together so that it all works is, uh, well, that's one of the main reasons that I play on Van Doren. There's a mindset out there that beginners need to have a really open setup, meaning something that doesn't require very much effort. So therefore, you give a child something that's real easy to play, they don't put enough air in the horn to make it work. So they will never really be successful because their sound is never gonna be very good. They should have no excuse to, to, to have any mediocrity in their play, whether they are five years old or, two, or 25 years old. Young student, eight years old, if you listen, they have the same sound of me.
because they have the same mouthpiece and read and they open sound and they play naturally. Naturally. Wonderful. The best advice is an equipment that will allow you to bring out your own voice and it will be flexible enough so you can change and you can accumulate so many different colors. There are state-of-the-art products that are affordable so from the very beginning I would have a, a students play on Van Doren mouthpieces and Van Doren reeds. I'm playing a long time so I've played everything, I've tried everything because this is a hard instrument. You know, it's a mother, the clarinet. So to get it to do what you want it to do, you gotta work a long time. So, you know, you gotta find a good read, you find a good mouthpiece, you find a good teacher, you spend a hundred years, and then you're ready. With the Vandoran, it's a, I think it's a, a very distinctive sound. So you, you know, you know when someone is playing Vandoran. I'm just drawn to Vandoran all my life. I've always played Vandoran. You know, Showy's always played Vandoran. <laughs> I found a really great combination that I'm very happy with. I play only Vandoran. We. We are Vandoran. We are Vandoran. We are Vandoran. We are. We are. We are Vandoran.